Hey guys, welcome to the channel. If you're new to our channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and hit that bell. Stay alert when we release our new videos. All right guys, check this out. Dad ended up selling his camper the other day and it's gone. <laughs> it's so bare over here next to the shed. I don't know, I'm thinking about maybe putting a lean-to or something right here that we could store the side-by-side -side in uh, with the push mower and the tractor and whatnot, but I'm not sure. We'll have to figure that out. I'm gonna get down here and get the animals out. Uh, just sent the kids off to school. They're back to school now. It's been quiet around the house. <laughs> it just stormed yesterday. We did get the roofs replaced actually on the chicken coop and the barn. They got both of our roofs replaced. Like I said in the last video, the roof on our house was replaced already. And they came back out and got the roof on the chicken house, chicken coop and barn replaced. So it's really exciting. I was gonna come out here yesterday and uh, do an update and, and kind of show around and work on some stuff. But um, we got some storms that came rolling through and threw down pretty hard. So had to wait till this morning. Uh, we gotta get down here and we're still let, keeping the chickens locked up down here because we wanna make sure that the little ones, I call them little, I mean, they're still full grown, but the younger chickens, we are trying to make sure that they get adjusted to being down here at this coop. But look at the roof, which is really neat because they actually put a drip edge right here as well to help water, uh, to help with that corner at least. They did the same thing on the other side but it's all brand new. They replaced some OSB boards in there too, so the whole roof is redone, which is great. Good morning, ladies. Roger, how you doing? I just did their waters uh, yesterday evening, right before they went in, so they're all still good. I know they still have food in the trough. What I'll probably do is get a bucket of the brewer's grain, actually probably two different buckets, bring them down here and give them the brewer's grain this morning. Let's go get the cows some brewer's grain, feed the pigs and goats, and make sure Hobbles and her boyfriend up here are doing good. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> cows are anxiously waiting. What are you doing over there, Chuck? He's wanting He's waiting for his brewer's grain. He knows what time it is. Hey, good morning, Red. Good morning, pigs. Good morning. He's already drooling. That means he's getting ready to eat. All right, let's go, guys. day when I go to feed the goats in here I get them situated Patty she decides to come in and tries to clean out the goats trough before they can even finish their food but come on Patty probably got to dump some water out of their trough this morning oh it's not too bad it didn't rain that much more last night I guess all right let me go get some grain Trying to scoop you guys out the best of the best here. There you go. You guys still have food in there? Barely. Man, I got distracted with the chores, forgot to show you guys. Look, the roof is all done. They even put flashing all the way down along the side of the barn there. So we got that all flashed up, sealed in. It looks really good. So I was really excited. So we got the house re-roofed, the chicken coop all done, and this roof. The only issue with this roof is when they built it, not us here recently, the previous owners, they put this rafter right here. Uh, they nailed it too high. So that's what brings this corner up. So this board, fascia board, is somewhat straight and level, but there's a gap there. So my concern is how to get this down, 
but instead of pulling that out and tearing it down, what I'll probably do is get some tin to put up here and I'll just get it a little bit longer here to blend it in uh, when I do the fascia there. So I don't know if they did that to keep it rolling away from the barn or what, but they just built it a little funky. And I'd have to tear off the whole thing in order to redo it. Not a big deal. We'll make use for what's here. All right, let's give the pigs some food because they obviously sound like they're dying. You guys sound like you're dying out here. All right, who wants some? There you go. See, then that moves them out of the way for me to get in here. Let's go do the babies. You guys hungry this morning? Easy. All right, Red. You ready? There you go. Waters are good. Okay, now everyone's quiet again. And just like that, morning chores are done up here as far as the barn goes. I just want to bring some brewer's grain down to the chickens. Um, maybe put a little bit of scratch out for them for the day. <laughs> Cows, pigs. I may to bring up a little bit more feed for the chickens, but they're up here free ranging though. They usually come into Red's pen here, as you can see in the background, they're coming up under the gate. Hobbles comes in. The rooster's still a little, a little slower getting in, but she'll come in here and they just kind of go all around his paddock and free range and eat. And we typically have scratch or some sort of feed out for them. But look at this, since we got all that rain yesterday, the pig's water hole <laughs> is all filled up. Looks like a little pond out here. It's like in a perfect spot for them to sit out here. Sit in the shade, nice water hole. Been hot these last few days, so I'm sure they're gonna love that. What are you doing, Garth? Since this drain doesn't work on this IPC tote, got a little standing water down there. Now I try to avoid any moldy grain at all when I give to the cows. So usually when I give the cows, I'll scrape out a bunch of it and then get down to the stuff lower and nice clean grain. So that's the stuff I gave them earlier. I scooped out that clean area. But all the rest of this, I'm gonna start scooping out we're gonna get a couple buckets and uh, bring it down to the chickens. There's one, there's two. I right, let's go bring these to the chickens. Got some brewer's grain for you ladies. There's one bucket. Take the second bucket, split it in here. Some there, some there. There we go. All right, so just like that. Now they'll tear that brewer's grain up, especially the top layer where the flies can get to. They'll lay, lay their larvae there and they'll have little maggots and stuff in the morning. Scoop all that up. Delicious treat for the chickens. They love getting those. Well, the chickens are all good. They've got their water, their feed, and now some brewer's grain. I'm not even gonna worry about putting any scratch down right now. They've got enough here to keep them occupied. I do wanna come over here and check because pie has been laying on a clutch of eggs for for a while now, and I think Jerry had it marked for the first week of September for potential hatch dates. So they should be getting real soon here if she is gonna hatch any of these. I check on her every once in a while in her house here. She's been doing real good. But let's just check real quick while we're over here. Let's see if we can see Pie. You in there, Pie? 
Where'd you go? Oh, did you move? She used to have her nest right there, but I guess she moved to this side. There you are. You're doing all right in there. Yeah. How many eggs are you sitting on? <laughs> I don't know. At one point she had about, I think, six or seven eggs. Um, if the eggs are bad, she'll naturally know and she'll kick them out of the nest, so she'll push them out. But I haven't seen any pushed out lately, so I'm hoping they're all gonna take. Hey, Daddy, what are you doing? Daddy came to check, too. What are you doing, Daddy Duck? We keep their feed, a uh, food bowl right there for them. Their water bowl, uh, basically it's a big bowl there that they can get in and swim if they want. And they got the water here down to end. So they've got plenty of water in here and that's not even taking into consideration their pond. That's in their mini pond that they have. That's where daddy likes to hang out. So we put a lot of feed in there for them every day, but they also have feed and whatnot over here in their covered area that they can get into. Which looks like he's gonna have himself a little breakfast. All right, ladies. You guys have a good day. Sun's getting a little, coming up a little bit. All the dewy ground soaking wet, starting to dry out a little bit. I'm ready for these super hot temperatures to be gone. I still need to clean out the chicken coops. Uh, I wanted to do that yesterday, but it stormed. <laughs> we never got to it. So I may be able to get to it today. We're also working on the basement. We've been working down there, um, some remodeling and whatnot that's, we're waiting on inspection on one of the uh, new office that we're building down there and uh, we'll have to go down in there I'll kind of maybe shift the video up a little bit today and go into the basement and kind of show you some of the basement work that's been going on not sure if we'll get to any of the big projects out here because my schedule is a little tight this afternoon after work so we'll have to make do and just kind of fit in what we can what boys what are you doing, Garth? You doing good, Wayne? Yeah. Uh, they're usually, during the day, I'll come up, the cows will be out grazing in the pasture, and um, the goats will be out there with them, hanging out. That or the cows will be sleeping in the goat stall with the goats. <laughs> so now, up here at the barn, we've got a new roof there. We've got all the vines and stuff cleaned off of the big barn over there. Thanks to John and his help. Next big step is to pressure wash the barn and get it painted. Not sure when we'll do that. I'm probably gonna wait for the temperatures to get a little bit cooler. I'm not gonna stand out here in, in the 90 degree weather all day long dying. That was another one of the reasons why I focused on the basement. Had a contractor come over and help us get that room framed in down there and had to get the electrical ran to the new outlets and lights in the roof um, or in the ceiling. So we're gonna kind of put our basement together one step at a time. And the first step is to get our office built down there, our new office so that we can move the existing office that I work in every day upstairs down in the basement. And then we can um, turn my old office into a guest room somewhere for uh, people to stay. Now that the camper's gone, we don't have that other guest room. <laughs> All right, let me show you what's been going on during these rainy days when I haven't been able to get out on the farm to do projects. Go into the dungeon, get some of these lights turned on down here. All right, so this room right here is being framed in. It's already got wall frame on this side and of course this side. Change out the receptacle from a single to double because I'm adding can lights. There's four can lights and there is this existing fan outlet here that we had a fan on, fan light, so there'll be a fan light there as well. But the goal was to get all this framed in and uh, ready for inspection for electrical. Once we get the electrical inspection done, then we can move forward with our drywall and trim and all the other finished work that we need to do. Um, another change in this room is there used to be, well there still is, a door here, a closet door, 
to open up to go into the utility. This is kind of where our air handler system is for upstairs. We get in here to change the air filters and maintenance and whatnot. But instead of coming through the office to get in here, I'm framing this all off. And this is gonna be just a solid wall here. And we move the door to the other side where the workshop is. And so, swing over on the workshop side. This is the workshop. I'm slowly working on putting it back together. Most stuff is kind of pushed over to the side, thrown in totes. As I'm opening things up and cleaning up, organized, I put the shelves up and hung these so we can start putting extension cords there. Charging station shelf. Uh, these are just two by sixes. I have two more on the ground over there that were like a makeshift table in here when I moved in. I just took those down to repurpose. But yeah, so this is the door on this side. So now we'll be able to come in through the workshop side and get into the utility room just like this. And again, that wall, that old opening right there is gonna be framed off and there's nothing gonna be there. It's just gonna be a solid wall. So this has been my project lately is just trying to get our shop put together. There is going to be a solid wall that we're gonna be putting up um, on the edge of this wall all the way over to the other side of the water heater. Now, the reason the water heater <laughs> is sticking out so far there is merely because I had a company come through and they put in a basement water system here. There's a trough, this is moisture barrier. There's strapping on the wall to hold the wall up uh, for support. But this water system goes all the way around and there's a trough basin down there that pumps water outside. So if any water gets in the house or makes it through the foundation, it'll catch that tray system and get pumped out. So that dried up our basement. That was step one. Step two now is to start going through and framing in um, every room individually and kind of piecemeal it together so that we we have a final idea what we want everything to look like, but due to time and money, whenever we have the funding to move forward on the next step, we'll do that. But like I said, we'll probably end up getting this wall from the edge of this wall right here, all the way over. It's gonna follow basically where the brown floor is over to that wall. And then uh, that's, we're gonna have a big sliding barn door on that wall to divide the workshop area in this. Next to the workshop, we have a storage area and this area, I still have to fix that shelf at the end, slide it against this wall. And then once that's done, we have to frame in the small wall there. And then once the small wall is framed, then I can move this hot water tank back up against the wall and then we can build this wall going across. So it's just like little baby steps. It's like a puzzle. You gotta do one step before the other and whatnot but it's coming slow and steady. We work on this when the weather's not right outside to do anything out there. So when I'm not recording projects or engaged in anything out there, I'm usually down here tinkering around trying to make a little bit of progress. What is everyone doing? The hump. We got everybody here today. Jerry said that there was a, where'd it land? We had a, a hawk visit today. Luckily, or this morning. Luckily, I don't think he got any of the boys up here, and that's that's why they're all huddled up around here. <laughs> um, they've been taking shelter and uh, under the vegetation, out in the tobacco field, as needed. Um, so the cover helped him. It helped him avoid the hawk. But we do have this one troublemaker up here. What's up, Fluffy? So Fluffy thinks he belongs up here now. He thinks this is his place. Last night, it was after dark, and I went to go shut the chickens up, and I came out, and Mr. Fluffy was just sitting out here thinking this was his roost post. <laughs> so yeah, the reason why he was up here originally was he was getting picked on real bad by the other boys, and we just kind of put him up here, just let him eat, calm down a little bit, I guess, but he kind of took to it like this is his new home, so. <laughs> Yeah, uh, he flew to me again this morning. Yeah, he's been flying to Jerry and landing on her and all that. Anyways, that was the first time we've had a predator in incident, but luckily it, there was not a success rate on that. You know, the uh, hawk flew off. We hear the hawk every once in a while when we hear 
uh, I'm calling, we'll walk around and just check to see it, scared off, um, try to keep. A few minutes ago too. Well, that's good. I was standing out here watching. Oh. It. Yeah. So. <laughs> Jerry just said the crows came in a little bit ago, which is good. When you hear crows coming around, uh, they usually fend off hawks and whatnot. So if you hear crows locally around your chickens, that's always a good sign. So I like that sound. I'll have to pick back up here and just a little bit here in this afternoon. I gotta get in and get some my work day done and then we'll uh, pick back up afterwards. And here we are. All right, it's evening. My work day's over, so I'm back up here uh, at the barn area. This wood that's been out here is uh, the wood that I got so we can build the mobile pasture shelter uh, to pull around between the pastures. I still need to get to that. I haven't had the time uh, to start that project yet, but there's also wood in here, a bunch of two by twos that I wanted for, uh, I bought to frame in the screen at our front porch. Here's where we got to box in around these. I got to put a four by four post up right there, box that in, same thing on the other corner on the steps. And then all these have to be framed in so we can get, and even the bottom parts actually too, so we can get all the screen put on. This is what we've had to do for the chickens. Put these gates up. Jerry's got a bungee on it so you could actually pull this out. And it will close somewhat on its own. And then the chickens took a couple days to figure out, but then they started figuring out they can get up on the porch on this side. So. I had to put that pallet there to block them out. Try to keep our porch clean. <laughs> the chickens up front that are free range and all the roosters, um, they're all starting to come up on the front porch and they're pooping everywhere and making a mess. And we try to put the gates up, but they can fly up over the gate if they really want to get up on the porch. So I want to move forward with that project a little quicker than expected so we can get the front porch screened in. So all those two by twos are in this pile, but there's also a bunch of untreated two by sixes and uh, some other lumber. So what I want to do is just kind of take this pile apart real quick, grab out the two by twos and then restack this lumber, get it all set up and then grab another tarp and seal this wood back off right here so it stays dry. And of course you can hear the pigs and the cows and goats all hollering in the background because it is evening and uh, they're going to want their dinner, but uh, it's a little early for us to feed them a little early on our schedule. So about another hour or so, and we'll come up here and get them fed, but I need to get this pile taken care of real quick. So let's get that knocked out. put it in the woodshed for now all right so down here we've got to go back here this is where we need to work right now the goal is to cut well you can see underneath this two by four only goes to here so I'm going to cut it here pull this piece of plywood out and see if we can have enough clearance from the legs to then bring this back here but first what I want to do is run a level from over there to this side because it dips down here. Figure out the drop. We might have to put a piece of two by four or something there to balance out that leg. All right, so. It looks fairly level right about there at the top. So we can come off the cement and see that the bubble's there. So what we want to do, this is level right now, flat on the cement to the top of this basin. So, what I'm going to do is slide this over on the basin 
and uh, I can already tell it's going to be a less than a 2x4. So we got about a half inch, three quarter inch, oh, right at an inch. So what I'm going to want to do is try to get a 1x piece of 1x if I have it. And we'll just set it right on the side over here and then that'll give this leg something to sit on. Alright, so the next thing I want to do, get that 1x, let's get this cut real quick. So we'll just start cutting and we'll just go right down across. It doesn't have to be pretty. Uh, this is not going to be reused on this bottom part. All right, I got a scrap piece of one by. This is what we took out of the, the new office over there. Uh, it was in a scrap pile. So I have this in case we need it to put down over here. I'm just gonna set it to the side. Once we get the shelf in place, I wanna try to scoot it as close to the wall that way anyways. So it's gonna be moving around. I guess the first thing I wanna do is try to get this corner moved up over here without busting that plumbing up down there. So we're gonna give that a shot real quick and hopefully we get it moved. All right, tight space up here, but probably have to get on the end. Ugh. All right, we're gonna have to pick up on this end and try to shimmy it over that way without hitting that pipe right there. We gotta clear it with this leg. So I gotta pick up, get over that, and we need to shimmy it this way up a little bit farther. Not tight against the wall, but probably, I don't know, six inches. I think the issue is, and we're not putting any pressure on that right there, I think we need to scoot the other side down, this down here. Uh, this is probably a two-man job, because <laughs> we gotta get this all slid over, but not much room there. All right, so we gotta get this corner. We pulled that over a little bit, but this side's stuck, so. It's just swinging that side out. Luckily, it's clearing, it's not putting any weight. So, we'll just keep working on this end. That clears this way. pretty sturdy like that so this is what we came up with here it's pushed back we've got our alleyway be able to get down here now there's a little storage nook here so I was gonna keep it about the same um, it's pretty close we also have the plumbing here 
Well, we have plenty of room to push this up if we want to get it tighter, but I don't know if we really need it much tighter. If this leg was not over top of the basin here, we'd probably do it. So I don't actually need this because, well, we might be able to put it under here. Yeah, there we go. There we go. That wedge is in there. That's looking pretty good. What are we looking like front to back? Oh, pretty good. That's what we needed to do in this part of the basement. This is a old propane line from an old propane hot water tank. It's still live, so I have to have a plumber come in. I need to get those terminated and turned off. And we got that shelf pushed up against the wall. Probably pull it just so there's a slight air gap in between the moisture barrier. And it's actually more than it looks because this moisture barrier pushes in. So that's good. We just needed to have enough room to be able to come in here and hit the lights on and off. All right, so now that we got the shelf put back over there, we can frame in the wall. Um, that's right here that we had to cut out of the way when they put the water system in. Once we get that all reframed in, I can put a piece of plywood over there. That'll cover that up. And then we'll have to get out here and we'll have to put another piece of plywood right, right above that door. Um, but then we can put the door back on the hinge and put the water tank back up against the wall. And then this whole area would be prepped and ready to go so we can build this long divider wall here to split up the shop and storage over there. Forgot to say too, earlier this afternoon we got the shipment of the drywall and some other stuff in like the baseboard trim, or not the baseboard trim, this is the trim for the round of all the windows and the doorways and this MDF board that we're gonna rip down on a table saw. This is three quarter inch MDF. We'll rip that down to put all the trim work around the window frames. So the windows stick out about um, from the window, so we'll have to take out these existing one bys and then the MDF will come out here. But now we got that done, I think it's time to get out there. It's uh, dinner time for the animals, so let's get up to the barn, let's get them fed real quick. I'm sure they're dying. <laughs> I forgot Jerry was out here mowing too. Hey. Mowing all over. Looks real good. Ooh. Perfect timing. Ooh, you're rich. <laughs> I hear you guys. I know. All right, it's time. It's getting dark, bud. Time to go in. All right, guys, appreciate you guys following to the end of today's video. You know, just a little few odds and ends that we had to take care of here. You know, the basement's making good progress. It's hard to kind of take you guys along down there as I, you know, it's a little dark and uh, some of the work gets done throughout the day when I'm preoccupied with my, my other job. So um, we'll try to get you guys caught up. I do have some other footage that we can probably throw in. All right, so we're doing some basement work down here. We have to uh, fix the structure of the foundation. We had a little bit of issues with that. Also getting water leaking in. So I have a crew here from Carolina Basement Systems. Big shout out to them. They came today and put some strappings on our wall. And what it is is a bunch of this uh, epoxy covered. Um, I don't know if it is like a Kevlar style or some sort of woven material. Once this hardens, oh, it's gonna be actually harder than steel and those go up and they connect up to the top up on the house. In a few days, they're gonna be coming to put a trench system all the way around the bottom of uh, the basement. They're gonna cut that out and then they're gonna put some sort of weatherproofing or moisture barrier uh, on the walls as well to seal that all in. Once that's done, we'll be able to move forward with the basement and start actually framing it out correctly by code and getting a bathroom set up and do the basement the way we want it. Um, the other day we did come in here and I tore down this kitchen that used to be in here. 
Thank goodness I did though, because there was so much water damage behind here. Uh, that thing was so moldy and nasty. So it's good to get that out. We've got the kitchen out and the walls are strapped. Now the next thing to do is actually just get in uh, and get this floor trench put in. Slowly making progress on the basement. You know, um, the roofs are all done, so that feels good. We still need to pressure wash this. We need to build the shelter out here. Um, Got to make a brooder out of the old greenhouse up there. There's just, the laundry list is pretty long, let alone cleaning out the chicken coops and getting the new compost pile started. But, you know, we can tackle what we can while we can with the time given. Um, you know, I, I do have a full-time job during the day, so. It's limited to what we can get done during um, the nights, but it feels good to get a few of these things done. If you guys haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button down below. I've seen our channel slowly starting to grow again, so I really do appreciate, uh, thanks so much for all those that have shared our videos and content, and to the new subscribers, welcome to the channel. We'll get back out here and get going at some point. And until next time, guys, we'll see you later.